All hands are on deck in the management of Nigeria's affairs in China. There are Nigerian government's representatives in three of China's largest and most strategic cities. In China's largest and the world's most populated city, the Nigerian mission is one of only four African missions there. Thank God for uh, the economic team that we have in Nigeria now that is trying to broaden the base of our economy in the sense that we are de-emphasizing uh, oil and then going, going to non-oil uh, uh, areas where we can attract investment in agriculture, in other areas, manufacturing, industry, and small businesses. One of Ambassador Otekwala's main aim is to champion the Nigerian government's agenda of economic diplomacy. He says government's economic policies over the years has helped to make his job easier. The government has gone way ahead more than 10 years ago to start establishing free trade zones. These are really going for us. If you take the Ogunguandong free trade zone, for example, or the Leki free trade zone, or the Calabar free trade zone, you will see that we have been able to encourage a lot of Chinese companies to go into these areas and manufacture right inside Nigeria there. And then the, with the new uh, industrialization policy rolled out and expanded by the Minister of Trade and Investment, you will realize that many more companies are coming. Apart from managing the affairs of the consulate, protecting the interests of Nigerians in Shanghai and its environs is a huge part of the mandate. Though Nigerians in Shanghai are not as much as those in Guangzhou, the Consular General believes Nigerians need to be properly educated on Chinese government's policies regarding foreigners and illegal entry. Many Nigerians do come out of ignorance and then they end up running foul of the law. But the good news is that since we came here, uh, we have done a lot to go into the society and then try.